Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot, and today we're going to look at the Kiritake Ganzai Tambi Granulating Watercolors. Very exciting. These are super cool. I know this because this is take two. I shot a video where most of the time you weren't in the shot. <laughs> so we have uh, five colors in this. Um, set and then there's a pan I guess for mixing the colors which seems promising here is what they look like swatched there might even still be a little wet as I just shot the video and started watching it I'm like oh gosh I'm not even in the frame but beautiful we got a aurora red these are not easy to say aurora pink aurora orange aurora blue and aurora violet and they are super super cool nice and granulating they don't disappoint i wonder how the white knights are going to stack up against these i'm going to shoot that video <laughs> right after this one because i just got all these and i'm super excited so i'll show you what i played with here when i was playing with them and we'll play with them again so i just dumped them out in big in big areas this is the I went backwards so this is the violet this is the blue here are you in shot good grief I'm having troubles today I swear I have not been drinking and making videos that's not no just haven't been doing that Aurora orange is here backwards so pink is here and red is over here and then I also was playing, I splatted water on them. I took my brush and splatted water on them like that. And then I also did the same thing with the opal violet here in the opal colors by, by Kiritake as well. And you can see that really right there really came, came out good. There's like little bits of shiny goodness all over the place so we got another piece of paper here to try again to have you in shot <laughs> to have it in the frame and we will we will give it another try here with the various colors so you can see what's going on and i'm going to keep you kind of high and i'm gonna except that i can't i can't see the camera when i do that all right so i'll just stand up here and then I was getting ready for sh for the second take here, and I nearly fell off my chair. Really, I swear I have not been drinking. Although, I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. Alright, so I've, these have been soaking a while with the colors on them. And the first time I did it anyhow, I used way too much paint. But I did go and dab it up, which makes interesting, interesting results as well. So just kind of crumple up your, your napkin or whatever and dab so you get, you can see those, like that little line I made in there. That's a cool effect. So, but I think less is more. We're going to... I'm going to do it differently this time. We'll try to get colors to run into each other and see what happens. That could be a cool effect. So the first one was red, the second one is pink. I'm doing this on watercolor paper. Oh, okay, so that's probably going to be contaminated a bit there, but this is the orange, which is green. Next up is the blue, which is also contaminated a bit now. Let's go back there and tap some water on things. And then we will do, oh, nope. I haven't yet prepped the area. 
And I'm using a lot of water. One probably doesn't have to use this much water, but I missed my calling as a mad scientist, so I'm trying to make up for it. Let's see if we can pull it and see what happens. Any interesting So I'm going to drip some water. That's always cool. I'm going to bring back, this is not ready now. We'll squeeze some water in there. Let's get some of the opal colors. This is opal violet. We'll just splash that on there again. I think that would make such a cool effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Went way over there in the paint. I like to go crazy like this. And now I'm just going to take, I'm going to get a new paper towel here. And see. I like to crumple it up so that I get some good edges. And then tap it, although it's so wet. Cannot wait to use these in my coloring books. And it might even take a couple of layers to be truly interesting. Let's see. We'll move that aside and let it dry a bit. Let's see. This is kind of sort of dry as I just made the video a little bit ago. Let's see. Let's add different colors. Let's see. We went backwards. So we'll do it in here. Probably end up reactivating things. Um, let's pick from over here. dab it up again. And then you really have to wait for it to dry to see the granulation. But it's starting to separate over here. Maybe paint lightly with it, see what happens. Oh, I think I took up too much of the... Okay, that is fun. Imagine if you were like dumping salt in it as well. That could be so cool. So many cool things that could be done. I don't have any salt out, but I'm going to turn you off and we're going to come back when everything is dry and see what it looks like. So I'll see you in just a second. I'm back here quickly. Stuff's not dry, but I did go to the kitchen and get some salt. This is kind of big salt. I should get some small salt too. Hold on. Okay, we 
we've also got some all salt. Uh, it's a little, a little funny. It's very weird and aged, but let's let's do one where we throw some salt in there and see what happens. All right, so we'll throw some big salts on that side. Oh, that's going to be cool. And we'll throw some small salt over here. Okay. We will come back when that is dry. See you in a second. Okay, we're back. So I've pulled you down a little bit. Um, but here are the colors again. Now, there was a lot of water here, and then I dabbed them up with my paper towel because I, there was way too much paint and water. Makes very interesting colors there. And uh, this was the page. This was the page I did with you guys. This was the page I did before. Here was the salt over here. The big salts are here. The small salts are there. So those are some interesting techniques that could be useful for something cliffs and rock formations maybe lots of things put your ideas in the comments um, now here this area was what we did together and then while I was impatiently waiting for stuff to dry I went and experimented more with things I experimented with just putting it on just like you would Paint, maybe a background or something so here's kind of, here's blue 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 painted in a chaotic way there just blue blue these are different amounts of water with the blue here I don't think that's blue I'm not sure um, this is blue over here so like look at all those color variations in the really light one I like when it's painted chaotically I think these would be great for space if you could learn to control it. Um, this is red and that's red painted chaotically. So, I mean, you can see the red here and the red here. Drastically different results. I think this green would be good for something that, like copper that tarnishes or gets that patina on it. Um... Here's some violet. I tried to lift it. Now this is watercolor paper, so it's going to lift. I don't know that it would on our coloring books, but I, I was lifting it to see what would happen. Um, these interesting cauliflower effects are just water. And then I think it's interesting to note the ones. Can you see the sparkle in real life? Those are when I threw the shiny stuff in there. <laughs> Those look so cool. I love that shiny stuff in there. That's going to be a thing, I think, for me. So that's where we are. I'm having a good time playing with these. Um, I can't wait to see how the white knights that I got compare to this. So, all right. So I'm off for more playing with paint. I will see you the next time. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.